Wow, Facebook, it could be a powerful tool, certainly. Ari, thank you. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, nearly 20 million people have been victimized by credit card and identity theft. And every holiday season, the numbers go up when people start their holiday shopping. Chloe Beardsley joins us now with details on how you can protect yourself this time of year. Chloe? That's right, Kristen. More than 7% of the U.S. population over 16 has been a victim of fraud. We spoke to experts today who said the best way to avoid this situation is monitor and secure your accounts and always report suspicious activity to police. Tis the season for shopping and in some cases scamming. In the days leading up to the holidays when more people are out looking for deals, there always seems to be an increase in credit card and identity theft. It comes into the forefront more at the holidays because people are actively using their cards more often than they might in their normal everyday use. Marge Millar with Nevada State Bank says crooks start off making smaller purchases hoping you won't notice. Before you can even blink, your account can be empty. It can affect you down the line on getting a car, getting other credit, buying a house. Scammers can get your information while you're shopping store to store or with skimming devices at gas pumps, ATMs, and even when you're shopping online. Links um, and email is probably the main method. Uh, people will send out a spoofed email saying, uh, Macy's.com, click on this link for a deal. Some tips to stay ahead of the scammers are check your account activity daily, run debit cards as credit because you are protected under visa regulations for liability, ask your bank to set up fraud alerts to track any suspicious activity, don't click on email links, instead type in the website on your browser, don't give personal information out over the phone, and check your credit report annually. Banks and law enforcement have taken steps to help combat the problem. We're working with U.S. Marshals, the FBI, our fraud detectives at the Reno Police Department, and obviously uh, Sparks and Washoe County. The financial community as a whole is looking for more and more ways to protect through firewalls and security. I think educating the public on how to protect themselves is something that is most important. And if you think you have been a victim of fraud, the people you need to contact is law enforcement in your jurisdiction. Covering the story, Chloe Beardsley, Channel 2 News.